Hey guys, this is Gigi Your Face, and I'll be talking about a game between Mouse Moro and Artosis. Artosis is actually playing under the name SRS Razor and Annie. And Artosis has been with us throughout the beta, and he's played quite a bit of gaming. And Mouse Moro has also played quite a bit, and these two are very well known pro players. Mouse Moro is spawning at the 12 o'clock position as the Blue Terran, and Artosis is playing. Zerg as usual and he's spawning at the 6 o'clock position as a red Zerg. Starting the match off this overlord will be scouting to his left because it is the closest base to the Zerg base and he will not be finding Moro there but it's always good to scout to the base closest to you because it is easiest, it is quickest, it makes the most sense. And here we do see the SCV going to the edge trying to get a peek to see whether or not there's an overlord flying by so that way Moro will know not to scout this base first he's probably gonna scout this one or this one as that SCV did pop down over there that is a very very good action by many players who have decided to try and get their game going and we do see a barracks going down after the supply depot quite normal and we do see an extractor coming out before a spawning pool or a expansion we do see this Spawning pool now going down for Artosis. SCVs coming out, more SCVs coming out. Maybe this will be our scouting SCV as an additional SCV is gonna maybe do additional scouting. Is that a double scout? Wow, we're actually seeing a double scout from Morrow. He really wants to know what his opponent is doing, so we'll see if he's gonna be able to find out. And this one is actually, he's actually pinned this one to the closer base I thought he wouldn't scout there because he moved his SCV over and he didn't see an overlord so I assume that he would not be scouting and he's actually moving the SCV in the correct direction now after seeing that the overlord has appeared over his SCV directly above head right there and our Terran player Mara will be able to get scouting information ahead of Artosis. It's always important to know what time you're scouting and what scouting information you're getting because it is pretty vital as ooh, we do see a double bunker to set up an early contain right in front of Artosis' base. I think he's doing this because he did see the spawning pool wasn't down and it wasn't finished as quickly. And these Zerglings, will they be trapped inside? Yes, they're actually trapped inside. Zerglings are trapped inside. We do see the first Marine coming out to this bunker. And if these, this Marine gets in the bunker, it could be trouble for Artosis. And one marine does go in, he's able to set up a contain, Morrow is able to set up a contain. This SCV smartly moves in and out of the bunker to prevent him from entering. Wow, this is a very interesting game, very quickly. This drone is going into the base, but this drone is not scouting, he's actually focusing his efforts on trying to break this contain, I believe. One marine is in there. You can tell there's a unit inside because this one, you see there's no light, and this one there's a light inside. So you can sort of see that there are units inside the bunker. As all top players know, it's always good to see if there is a bunker inside the enemy base and here Morrow is just double checking that the Zerg player has not expanded and he does have the contain inside his base and now he's building double barracks and the extractor is actually being stolen by Artosis. Wow there's action all over the map right now this is a very good game to watch. We do see one marine working on the extractor. The extractor was not cancelled as it, is, it did go up and these SCV marines just scouting the map to make sure that there's no hidden expansions for the Zerg player. There's two marines in this bunker now Oh man, I don't know what's going to happen next. This is very unusual play from both players. In fact, they're going up after the th second barracks. No, third barracks, that's actually. More marines being pumped out for Moro at the moment. He's Artosa is getting a lot of zerglings. He needs to break this contain. He knows he can't really progress that far. And ooh, he's actually getting a bailing's nest. This is, he might be able to break this contain with just the bailings and... The Zerglings. This is really important that he needs to break the contain. He actually places the Marines outside of the bunker and it does break the bunker. One bunker goes down, the second bunker is going to go as well. As it is on fire, he could maybe salvage this, possibly. Marines going down. And then we do see Zerglings rushing across the map with one bailing. Now these SCVs are desperately trying to contain the Zerglings from rushing into the base as there is quite a number of Zerglings on the way. This Marine catches a glimpse of them as they're passing by and he needs to move these Marines in position to shoot these Zerglings. And is he morphing in Zerglings at the moment? I mean, Bailings at the moment. A second extractor is going up. Second extractor has already been up for Moro. He's setting up some Bailings out in front. And this Bailings, oh, it's going to go down. 
three bunkers set up for Moro, and this SCV is going the wrong way. But he should be able to see what's coming. And this one SCV is outside seeing additional Zerglings coming in. Wow, this is a very exciting game. I did not expect this this fast. Bailings being morphed in, a couple of bailings outside the base, about five or six should be able to at least bust one bunker. Additional Zerglings being pumped through by Aratosis. And we do see Marines being tra trained out with dual reactors connected. It's all Marines all the time right now. He needs to get these SCV possibly to repair and prevent these Zerglings and bailings from busting it. And we do see the bunkers going down very close. This one's on fire and oh wow, all three! Bunkers goes down, all three bunkers goes down, and now he needs to set up a container right here and prevent these Zerglings from getting in. If they get in their base, it could be very big trouble for Morrow, and he does manage to contain, but at a great cost of a lot of SCVs and bunkers. I think that it was about an even exchange, and he's trying to set up the bunker outside so he can take his natural expansion. The Zerg has not yet taken his natural expansion. He's got key overlord position all across the map, so he knows exactly what's coming. If we take a look at his vision, he does see quite a bit of information. We do see he is able to see this Marines over here, but that might get sniped. And no one actually moves above the high ground, and these Marines do not have vision of it. Two Hellions coming out for Morrow, as they do not want to engage the base right now. They're probably maybe waiting for the Marines in the back. And we do see a Star Pro coming out, as well as centrifugal hooks for the Bailings. Ooh, this is very exciting, very quickly. Four Marines inside the bunker, the Hellion checking out the expansions. You see there are no additional hidden expansions that he does not know about. And this Overlord, this Overlord, and this Overlord, and this Overlord are getting a lot of information from the moving units. Tech Lab going up for the barracks, as well as a Starport. Right now, Artosis is sitting on a lot of eggs, larva. He's not actually using a, quite a lot of them just yet. Building a, an expansion. This was actually salvaged, I believe. And he's moving out. Helen is running across the map. But the Zergs are, t the Zerglings are too fast with their speed upgrade. Here we do see one drone, being, one Overlord putting creep onto it, allowing this one spine crawl to go outside the normal creep range. We see additional zergling, I mean additional bailings being morphed in. We do see an early marine push. While this is a very aggressive game for both players, they want to try to establish that early early lead and maintain it. And here we see some pressure from these Hellions. This spine crawler is not finished and these are, these bailings are rolling outside. They're rolling, they're rolling, they're rolling. Will they get any kills? They're rolling, the zerglings are getting in, they're trying to get us around, and actually the zerglings are falling. Oh, and the green ball of death! Wow, a lot of marines go down. This medevac did not make it in time as most of his friends have died off. And wow, this is a very even, well not even exchange, but this zerg army was almost perfectly made for these marines and hellions as it did take out a very good portion of it. This spine crawler goes up and that will give an advantage to Artosis as he tries to defend. Medevac going around, circumve circumventing the... Spine crawler putting on the high ground, probably gonna try to take out an extractor, but is that not actually up. This factory still pumping out Hellions right in front of Artosis' base at the moment. Morrow has not decided to get the expansion, but he is upgrading stem pack for his marines, as these units are still zero zero and the Zerg units are also still zero zero. Yep. Two medivacs moving out with a nice sizable force. He's gonna drop it inside his main base and bypass his sprawl crawler. Forcing these Zerglings to come back. This Overlord is going to go down. And let's see what he does after. And he actually picks all of them up. He's forcing the Zerg to move around his units to places he doesn't want to go to. A scan goes off to see exactly what kind of unit composition that the Zerg player has. This Spine Crawl actually unburrows. Perfect timing for the Marines and, and Hellions to push through. And then these Bailings are going through. The four Bailings. Let's see what they're going to get. Oh, they kill off everything. Wow, what a nice Bailing control by Artosis. Wiping out all of the forces at the moment, not the reinforcements, of course, but the reinforcements are very, very strong as they're coming in bunches. SCVs are coming. Wow, what? SCVs? <laughs> Did I say that correctly? A lot of SCVs are coming in. Moro tr sensing that his advantage, he's going to press through and try to take down this one hatchery, maybe? Hatchery's going down and down, and he's fighting Zerglings. SCVs are getting into the mix. SCVs, I cannot believe I said that. SCVs actually getting the mix. They're going to try to take down this hatchery, and it does go down. Additional Zerglings are actually morphing in right now, and additional Marines coming in. He's actually missing quite a bit of drones. 
as he has a lot of SCVs over here, and these SCVs will get taken down quite a bit by these Zerglings, and he's taking, he's going to take down the Spire. Wow, very aggressive play by Moro, sensing he has a slight advantage, sending a whole bunch of SCVs with his forces, and here we do see some Bailings coming in, Bailings, one Bailing, two, three, four, killing a lot of the forces, and he's able to successfully wipe pretty much all of it, except for one Marine, one Marauder, and one Hellion. Very well defended by Artosis. Wow, what very nice timing. As soon as the SCVs left, even if the SCVs not leave, he blew up pretty much everything that was there. Remaining with three Zerglings just ch chilling out at his home base. Wow, wow, wow. Zero, zero upgrades so far. No, no upgrades for either player going up. Some Bailings and Zerglings going up. And then these Marines are not happy to see that Overlord. He does take it out. And he will be taking this expansion at his natural. At the same time, the hatchery is going up. I think this factory wanted to land over there and delay the hatchery a little bit, but he didn't get there in time. As it is a mostly marine and marauder, and there is, right now there's four bailings and about almost 12 zerglings. It's always a, interesting to see what kind of a unit mix they have, because usually the unit mix is really important because you don't want too many bailings and you don't want too many zerglings. You want just the right amount to have just the right pal for your opponent and to take out his forces. And you also need a couple of zerglings to clean it up. Creep tumor being spread and this factory still scouting. Factories are really good scouts as well. And we do see four medevacs full of units coming in for a potential drop. Let's see where that drop goes. Bailings are actually morphing in and the factory will see that bailings are morphing in. This queen coming out to shoot the factory. Hellion still checking out for hidden expansions. Always scouting that is very, very good. As soon as the hatchery goes up, there we see some forces being dropped on the high ledge, some on the low ledge. And these bailings are going in, but oh, he does, doesn't take off that many units as a lot of the units were on the high ground, abusing that high ground ledge that a lot of Zerg have trouble defending. He's going to try to take down this one hatchery. A spire is going up once again at the same spot that the spire went down last time. Additional units being pumped out by the Terran player as he's trying to prevent the Zerg from taking this one expansion. But the Zerg is actually not mined out at his main base as he doesn't have as many workers. I mean, he yeah, he doesn't have any as many workers. These men are actually retreating. Just happy to take down the expansion for the Zerg player. And here he's going to go and clean up the creep possibly. He does a scan and he will be able to take down four creep tumors. That is very, very nice game sense. And here we do see some mutilus along with some zerglings and bailings rolling out across the middle. Maybe these mutilus will be able to catch these medevacs. And they're running across the map. They will be able to get maybe one, two shots. Maybe we will take down something. This one medevac is going to go down, and he's dropping off some units, and then these zerglings and bailings are going to try to clean up, but he does drop most of it on the high ground, and then the mutilists are forced to retreat, as he did drop a good portion of his units on the high grounds, where the zerglings and bailings cannot get to. Additional mutilists spawning for the zerg player, as he's decided to stay with one base. He's not expanding again, because it's very difficult to hold that expansion. As he's running into bunkers, and there are no turrets in the back. He's able to pick away at some of these SCVs. He, one SCV goes down, these marines step up and go to the back. And one marine goes down, but he actually trades for one mutilus, which is very good trade. This mutilus is harassing, preventing this refinery from going up. And the salvage bunkers are being used as income for possibly marines. Additional mutilus coming through. Mutilus are very mobile units, but on the other hand, this is a very sizable force to deal with these mutilus. These mutilists are going to go, oh, with the marine stem, and they're able to almost pick off one. Thank you.